What is the tiniest thing you can think of? An ant? A grain of sand? Did you know that there are things that are even smaller? A lot smaller! Hi, my name is Vidya Chakrapani. I work at Trincele Polytechnic Institute. My research is on quantum dots and semiconductor materials for solar energy applications. Vidya is a scientist who studies really small particles called nanoparticles. Nanoparticles are so small that you can't even see them under a microscope. The type of nanoparticles Vidya works with are called quantum dots. Quantum dots are special because they can do some really cool things with light. If you shine light on quantum dots, they really glow brightly. Have you ever played with a glow-in-the-dark toy? These stars glow because molecules in them can absorb energy from the light and then release it later, when it is dark. Quantum dots do the same thing. Quantum dots emit light really brightly, and they can emit lights of different colors. You can imagine quantum dots as really small glow-in-the-dark marbles, except that they glow different bright colors like blue or red or yellow. If I were to give you different size particles and just shine light on it, depending on the size of the quantum dots, it can grow from anywhere from blue to yellow to green to all the way to red, depending on its size. Bigger dots will glow red and smaller ones will glow blue. So what are the quantum dots used for? So this is being used in quantum dot televisions. Making sure that everything grows very slowly such that they are all of same size is the most challenging aspect of these processes. Remember that the size of the dots controls the color it will glow. So it's really important that the quantum dots used in these TVs are the same exact size. Are you ready to take on your own challenge? Check out the activity on Curiosity Machine.